Welcome to the car of the living room requests. Um, this is me and Matt. We're here. We're by a river. Yes. That is the River Thames. For today, we are standing in for the Who's a Tonic at Stockbridge. That's right, which is a river in Massachusetts, a rural river. Um, and there's many reasons why we're doing this, but here we are, Charles here Ives. Are. Thank you, Jeff and Jeff Andy. Jeff and Andy living for room another request. Charles Ives. Yay! So that was our solution and how to do Matt's solution actually is his idea of how to achieve this work, which is really what explain um, this score. Well, well, the score is for a chamber ensemble orchestra. Uh, there's a few different versions as well as the piano, but we selected this one to accompany us because the parts are so distinct aren't they it's like you've got the narrator and you've got this rippling river 
in the background and um, I've said on the piano copy the small notes in the right hand may be omitted but if played should be scarcely audible this song was originally written as a movement a set piece for orchestra when it was intended in the upper strings muted so we heard that and rather than attempting on a different instrument in duo I just couldn't get what he wanted now <laughs> I, well, I could get something what you wanted, but I think this will be closer. We're literally by. I we think, want to I think serve Ives would Charles like this. He would like this. Vision. And he would best. like us being by a river. And he would like. <laughs> Muddy um, terms. We, we, not fighting, but at a, at a counterpoint, basically, to what else is going on, really, or vice versa. Yes, yes. Uh, and that's very Charles. That's yes. very Charles Ives. Uh, I've got somebody walking past, hopefully they're not about to knock over yeah, the camera. Yeah, we were scared that this here tripod was going to get... A lot, of a lot of trucks use this bit to back up into. We watched several with alarm thinking, yeah. this is going to be a terrible thing. So, I don't know how we can pose for a thumbnail. We've, yeah. Um, we can mm. try. I'll let me put this a little bit further out of the frame. And we'll go right up close to this light, like some Halloween thing. Here we go. Go here. Hello. There we go. Stary Smile. Eyes. Smile a bit. There we go. Stary eyes. It's and um, a tonic. It's stock um, And so that was that. It's a town in Massachusetts. Very small town. Population about 2000 when Ives wrote this. In 1914. Piano version came later in 1921 with the words. And um, basically, it's still about 2000. <laughs> It is amazing. It's just, yeah. It, well, it, it actually sort of peaked in the, what, the 1880s or something? We, we oh, yeah, 1860s, it it's apparently, according to the census. And then, it, and then it, yeah. Gosh, just interesting corners of, of the world and interesting corners of music history. A yeah, very small town and very small piece of river. It's a very rural town uh, for Ives to write music about. Anyway, the camera might get knocked over again. No, it's still okay. No, no, People it's are okay. acting like it's all normal. Right, I'm going to go right in this light so you can see me. And then I'll say, thanks for, Thank watching, for watching, everybody. There are other Charles Ives. We'll put them in the description. Oh, yeah. Um, They're very different to also this. Also from, from Jeff and Andy, I believe. Most of them. If you old. do enjoy that, you can make your own request at patriciahammond.com forward slash request. You can also go to Patreon, which is Patricia Hammond and Patricia Hammond songs on Instagram. Yes. Right. And those people look like they're going to knock it over. Yeah, huh? they do. And I think they came out just to nose. Right, let's say goodbye to people. Thank you and bye-bye. Bye. Thanks.